Hi everybody, Brenda here from Brenda L.B. Kenny Fine Art Studio, and I am getting ready to paint our little springtime chickadee painting this evening at six o'clock. So I thought I would jump on really quick and just show you how to transfer a tracer to a canvas so that um, when you, if you do end up getting the tracer and you'd like to do this on your own, this little video will be under my tips and techniques playlist on my fine art page. And all you have to do is just go watch this and it'll show you how to put the tracer on the canvas. So this is the tracer we're gonna be doing tonight. It's a little two-piece tracer, and um, it, this is the trick, the chickadee painting we'll be painting. So when you print this out, just print it at 100% capacity and it'll fit an 11 by 14 canvas. So I'm going to be showing you how to put that on the canvas right now. I'll just tilt this down so you can see. Um, some of you have done this before, so that isn't an issue, but if you don't know how, then this will show you. you. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can either turn your tracer upside down, and wherever you have the lines, you just scribble with a pencil. Um, just scribble with the pencil on the back like this until you get a lot of carbon. Turn it over, place it on your canvas, and then just retrace your design. I'm going to be putting this on with carbon, and that's the way I put this on this canvas today. So I just have a couple pieces of carbon paper here. I'm going to put the tracer on there like this. And then I always make sure that I tape that in place so that it doesn't move before I trace. Um, do make sure that you have the carbon facing down against the canvas with the lighter side up and the dark side down towards the canvas. Trace that after you get that taped, you just trace your design. I would recommend before you pick it up, make sure you hold the canvas on one side and pick it up and make sure it's all traced on that side, then hold the other side and pick it up and make sure it's traced on that side before you remove it. After you get that all traced, you should have your pattern and design on your canvas. And what I did is I went back with a Sharpie marker and just went over a with a fine Sharpie marker and just went over the design. Um, this works well if you're doing any kind of lettering or if you're going to be doing a design where you want to paint over your design first with a thin layer of paint and still have it show through. So that's what I'll be doing this evening. And this is all set to go for six o'clock tonight. And I hope that um, if you're around and you'd like to jump on and just watch me paint these little chickadees, I would love to have you join me. Um, I'll be showing you how to paint those. And also, um, I'll tell you how you can get your tracers and how you can get the directions to do the little chickadee mittens. So I hope to see you later tonight at six o'clock. Thanks. I hope you're having a great day. I'll see you then. Bye.